Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. It is 6.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And I wanted to do a video on something called white privilege. I'm looking at uh, a Wikipedia article right now. Um, and this is the first couple of sentences in the article entitled White privilege. White privilege or white skin privilege is a societal privilege that benefits white people over non-white people in some societies, particularly if they are otherwise under the same social, political, or economic circumstances. With roots in European colonialism, the Atlantic slave trade, and the growth of Second British Empire after 1783, white privilege has developed in circumstances that have broadly sought to protect white racial privileges, various national citizenships, citizenships, and other rights or special benefits. In the study of white privilege and its broader field of whiteness studies, academic perspectives such as critical race theory, and it just goes on, it's a bunch of gibberish. If you want to read the article, I would, I'll put a link in the description. But basically, white privilege is the idea that white people based on slavery, based on European colonialism, particularly British colonialism, over the past several hundred years, somehow gives white people a privilege over people of color. Um, what this theory does is it divides races more than they already are. Um, it flies in the face of everything Martin Luther King Jr. stood for, where you don't judge people based on skin color, whether it be white, black, brown, or whatever, yellow. Um, also, white, white privilege also seems to supposedly oppress people who are transgender, gay, Hispanic, um, Native American, whatever. Um, I find the whole concept kind of insulting because everything I have is not a privilege. Everything that I have in my life, I earned, or my father earned through hard work. He worked at Kodak for like 30 or 40 years raising 10 children, and he was not given any special privileges to raise those 10 kids. My mother died when I was eight. He was left alone with all the kids by himself, and he had to raise those kids under very difficult circumstances. Um, one of the other things about white privilege is that people claim that um, living in the United States gives people privilege, especially if they're white. Well, actually, the privilege of living in the United States comes from the U.S. Constitution and the freedom that it provides to all Americans. Um, white privilege is an excuse to excuse the bad behavior of people who are non-white, those who commit crimes, those who are in jail, saying that they're in jail because of white privileges and not because of the violent crimes they've committed or any other crimes they've committed. Yes, a large population, prison population is black, Hispanic, etc. Um, but that's because they commit crimes in any society. If you commit a crime, particularly if it's a violent crime or a crime that leads to violence, you go to jail and that's the way it should be. You go to prison. That has nothing to do with white privilege. Um, if people would get a job and stop committing violent acts, maybe they wouldn't feel so oppressed. Um, I don't have any white privilege. When I was little, my, my my father and my family were unaware of this happening, so I don't blame them. But uh, my father had a girlfriend after my mother died, and she moved into the house, and she had a uh, an adult son that lived with us. I was maybe 10, 12. It's hard to remember. But he used to tie me up with duct tape to a pipe in the basement and beat me. Um, the funny thing is, my skin was just as white then as it is now, and as he was hitting me, a white person hit another white person, I didn't feel privileged. I sure as hell didn't get any justice for it. He was never arrested or prosecuted or anything for it. Um, so this white person got beat by another white person, and I never felt any privilege, and I certainly never got any justice. Um, so this idea of white privilege is bullshit. It's dangerous. It's being taught in universities across the the world, the United States, Australia, New Zealand, England, Europe, um, any place that white people 
are in large numbers is be, white privilege is being taught as a concept on college campuses and universities. And the reason that matters is because the universities and colleges are what produces lawyers, doctors, nurses, social workers, psychologists, psychiatrists, and other professions. And they take this idea of whiteness and white privilege and take it into their professions, thereby poisoning those professions with far left-wing cultural Marxist white privilege theories about how horrible white people are. And that's really the bottom of line, bottom line of what white privilege is all about. That being white somehow is a bad thing. That being white is something that deserves violence and hatred, especially if you try to stand up for freedom of speech. People make threats of violence, actual physical violence. Um, and the ironic thing is that people who uh, believe in white privilege believe that violence can be something as simple as offensive words. Um, white privilege is a bunch of bullshit. Um, I'm white. I'm not a white nationalist. I'm not a white supremacist. But I sure as hell don't fucking owe anybody anything because of white privilege. Everything I have I earned or my father earned when he was working. He was a veteran of World War II. He fought Japanese imperialism. He knows what imperialism is about. He's seen it firsthand. America saved the United or saved the world from German aggression, a white nation, and Japanese aggression a nation of Asian yellow skin people. Um, white privilege is a lie of the far left, of cultural Marxists, of anti-white racists, and they are anti-white racists. And they're getting political power, economic power, and they're starting to divide our society. If Martin Luther King Jr. saw what was going on, how people of color have turned their backs on him and have been traitors against him, he would roll around in his grave. Um, white privilege is a bunch of bullshit. She has no place in academia or in the workplace. I don't know what else to say. Read the article. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Um, another concept of is white fragility. This is in white privilege and white uh, guilt. White guilt is the idea that white people should feel guilty for the past sins of their fathers or grandfathers or great grandfathers in terms of slavery and lynching black people and whatever else horrible things that used to go on. Um, but that's bullshit. White people paid in spades um, the price for freeing the slaves when hundreds of thousands of white soldiers died in the Union Army to end slavery during the Civil War. A complete massacre of both white and black northern troops who fought to end slavery. Um, it was white people who got rid of slavery. It was the British Empire that got rid of slavery. Um, it was white people that marched with Martin Luther King Jr. that launched the Civil Rights Movement. Without white support, it couldn't have accomplished anything. And now we got companies like Google. We got doctors, we got lawyers, we got professors. We're trying to divide people based on race. And that's the essence of what white privilege is. It leads to violence, both against those who support it and those who oppose it. As a person who's in the political center, I'm getting a little sick and tired of the far right and the far left. And this concept of white privilege happens to be an idea of the far left, the anti-white racist far left. And the far right, of course, is not any better. I have no tolerance for anti-Semites and bigots and white supremacists. Their ideology leads to violence as well. Um, but uh, white privilege is an absurd idea. It makes no fucking sense. It's bullshit. There's another concept called whiteness. Uh, whiteness is supposedly not just applying to white people, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's so fucking convoluted and stupid 
there's no fucking way to even for me to describe it logically. I the only thing I could say is read the Wikipedia article, and the Wikipedia article doesn't even try to be neutral on the subject. They're not trying to examine it from all sides. It's clearly an article that supports the idea of white privilege and whiteness and white guilt and white fragility. It doesn't even attempt to be neutral or unbiased. Um, that's another thing about Wikipedia. It has gone far, far left politically. I used to read it because I used to think their different articles on different subjects were unbiased. That's bullshit. They have moved farther and farther to the left. And almost every article that has anything to do with politics or being in the far right or the far left, um, and it's, Wikipedia is not unbiased at all. Um, it would be interesting to see how they treat subjects that have to do with physical sciences. Um, but uh, Wikipedia is not unbiased at all. It's run by the far left. It's been taken over by the far left. And I'm getting sick and tired of the far left and its physical violence through groups like Antifa, the anti-fascist movement, which are not really anti-fascist, they're just Marxists. Um, Marxists using anti-fascism as an excuse to violently attack people. And then they're surprised when other people are violent towards them. And they actually should be violent toward Antifa. If Antifa was attacking me on the streets with a bike lock and a sock and trying to crack me in the skull with it, I have every right to pick up a rock and smash his fucking skull in self-defense. I'm not adv advocating violence in general, but I have the right to fucking defend myself. This is where white guilt, white privilege, whiteness studies have led to. It's led to extremism and violence. And if one side commits violence, the other side is going to use it in self-defense. And that's not something that I would apologize for. But read the article at Wikipedia. I'll leave a link in the description. And I just wanted to say, I'm fucking white, and I don't owe you a fucking thing.